This video is not intended for viewers under the age of 13. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the X Transbots Master X Series MX X1 Warrior Lock. This is their take on a masterpiece cup. I've got to admit, I was pretty hopeful and excited about this guy, but wow, that's all I can say. Well, let's get him out of the box. We'll take a look. So here we have a lock out of the package. But first, we got to talk, talk about accessories. And he comes with a lot. First off, get the instructions. Don't even crack these open. Because... It's not worth it. The heartache that these instructions will give you is not worth opening this book. It comes with a collector's card. For those that are interested, same artwork that's on the front of the box. You got some stats on the back. Take a look at that if you are. He comes with the Sharktacon tail, which actually, I admit, this is actually really good. It's got all, all the way down the one side, so you can get some nice posing action out of it. Nice flexibility. And it mounts into his hand with standard masterpiece style peg and hole method. So, very well done. Speaking of hands, he comes with two sets. They both articulate the same way with a dual hinge system hinge right here where the hand meets the thumb and also at the knuckle so you can get some flexibility out of it comes with two different sizes you got these small hands which are more masterpiece size and then you got the larger hands that are on them which are more cartoon accurate so i'm going to go with the cartoon accurate one he comes with four faces you've got the stern look which is on him now and you've got the cigar face, which looks really good. You see it glued all the way through, so you won't lose it like the fans' toys. You got a happy face, which you don't see on cup very often. You have a super angry face, which I'm more likely to use than the happy face. You have the choice of a round top to the head, which right now he's got the flat version on. Neither one of them fits too good, but I'm more of a fan of the, the round head. And then he has two of the worst sidekicks you would ever see. I'm not even going to not even gonna get into these because the transformation is horrible they're a floppy mess it's not really worth it I mean it's very simple you essentially just bend them over and with this one the grip just sticks out the back of the legs and they they fall apart if you sneeze on them they fall apart so not well done at all. I don't care who they came for, but they have eye paint. It's pretty good. So, I mean, these are definitely an afterthought. It feels like they they don't really fit the bill. Like, we'll, we'll go ahead and transform this one, which... As you can imagine, super simple. And there you go. That's it. I mean, they just gave him what appears to be an ab crunch. 
I hadn't bent over, but I mean, they are articulated. Elbows. Uh, they tried to articulate the feet, but as soon as you try and move them, they pop off. But, I mean, they're just they're just not done very well at all. So these will be going in a drawer somewhere, to be honest. All right, and then here we have Cup himself. Oh wait, we forgot his gun. Gun is his best accessory, in my opinion. Nicely detailed, painted, looks really good. Hollow on the end, which is nice. And it does go in his hand, standard masterpiece style. So it's pretty well done. And now on to Cup himself. Artistic, or visually, he is stunning. He looks really good. You've got a nicely painted face, and I'm, I'm torn. I don't know if I want to do the round head or the flat head, but we'll see. Nicely paint, painted blue, and darker blue on the chest. Obviously, I added the symbol. Coming down the waist and the arms, nicely painted gold accents. Notice the chip there. You're going to find those all over the place. Look at the... The hinge right there, it's horrible. Along the legs, legs are painted and they're die cast. Good luck keeping these things in place. Coming down the legs to the feet. It's nicely detailed, nicely painted. There's a lot of die cast, but man, it's just not done well. Looks good on the back. Kind of the weirdest rear butt flap I've ever seen it almost looks as though it's it's gonna clip into the, the here underneath the backpack for security but now this long piece right here has nowhere to go so it's like they had made a design choice and they changed it coming up the back I mean the backpack to be honest looks really good nicely painted it's not big and bulky. Into the back of the head. So let's go over articulation. Head. Can pivot up and down. All the way around. No side to side though. And good luck moving it without untabbing it from the back. Shoulders. Very stiff. Can go more than 90. You've got upper bicep rotation, double jointed bend at the elbow, wrist swivel. Again, the fingers open up. The index finger is on its own pin, and the other three are just locked together. And the thumb is stationary. Coming down to the waist. You do have a ab rotation. You could call it an ab crunch, but wow. Coming down to the legs. This is where things really start to go south. You've got skirts that lift up out of the way. And you have a really weird sounding ratchet. And then just friction out to the side. But. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like a toy. Uh, maybe one of those wind up mice or something. But it's very, very weird and weak sounding. Uh, you do have a nice amount of range as far as a rotation. Knees are extremely tight but they do have a decent range now you literally have to hold the leg together to bend it they're so tight because it's it's gonna it's gonna become unsecured if you don't like like right there 
I barely moved it. And it came untabbed. But so tight. You can you can see that there's a switch legs. You can see that there's a ratcheting system in there, but they're so tight. And you are constantly battling loose joints. Coming down to the feet. Feet go up and down. You do have a rocker. So decent amount of range. Right now my nitpicks. He is definitely way too loose. You pick up here. Nine times out of ten. You end up with that. Because of the transformation. So you always want to make sure when you grab them. Grab them from below that joint. Ab crunch. It's just. Way too loose. I believe that. Um, Magnum. If you watch his review. I think his broke right here. So. There for a while he had two pieces of lock. Uh, that with the, and then the knees, these joints are always wanting to pop out. It's just, it's disappointing. It really is. And that and the transformation, you've got too many pieces trying to be in the same spot at one time. It is a nightmare. That and QC issues. I've got paint coming off all over the place. So, I mean, if you want a lock that you can just sit on your shelf, he's beautiful because he he's the most cartoon accurate for what I've seen. A heck of a lot more cartoon accurate than Coot. But, that being said, it's just, it's definitely, definitely a disappointment with all the, the paint coming off, I guess you could call it. You know, battle scars, whatever. But we shouldn't have to. Uh, let's move on to transformation. Alright, and here we have Locke in his alt mode. And I gotta admit, it does look pretty cartoon accurate. Now, getting here is definitely not any fun at all. Um, as you can see, there's parts that I can't get lined up properly. Um, I didn't do the transformation on video because every time I tried, my phone would ring, kids came by, blah. Kept getting interrupted. So, here he is in his truck mode. And, I mean, it looks really good. I have to admit. I mean, let's take a look at some detail here. I do not like the way... He doesn't tab together good. I mean, as soon as you move one thing, something else moves out of the way. But it, it, it does look the part. I'll give it that much. Well, now the, the flat gray rims definitely, definitely are probably the weakest part of the decor. That and the, the screw bumps there. Coming across the back, I mean, he's got tailgate ribs in the back, or the tail bed, truck bed ribs. Uh, he's got fold out bumpers that fold out of the bottom of his feet. But there's just way too, too many moving parts in my opinion. And again, Everything is competing for the same space. So, once you tab something in, something else moves out of the way. And it's impossible to get it right. And it's, it's just disappointing. I mean, he is the more cartoon-accurate-looking cup. 
but I mean you need to be able to tab it in you need to be able to have it look somewhat decent and with all the the issues it's just not there in all mode um, so in my opinion I mean I honestly I don't I don't think I'm ever gonna transform him again because he looks stellar in robot mode but vehicle mode it's just a letdown and way too many moving parts yeah just it's just a disappointment here he is with the different head sculpts and the crown head on the top and sadly that's the, the best I can get it on there. And it's the same way for the flathead, but yeah. It's alright. What can I say? Thanks for including it. And here he is with uh, Masterpiece Hot Rod and MMC RC. All right, guys, final thoughts. Well, I think you can probably tell by my tone throughout the whole video how I really feel about this guy. He uh, definitely has his good points. I mean, he's well articulated, so you can get some good poses. But when the, uh, the leg becomes untransformed because you bend the knee, then you know you have problems. Joints are too tight, there's tolerance issues. Perfect example, right there. Um, he's a floppy mess as far as waist articulation, even down to his butt flaps there. He, uh, he falls way short. There's too many places where there's tolerance issues and metal rubbing on metal or metal rubbing on plastic during the transformation. Perfect example is right here, the paint issues on the front of the thighs. Uh, I mean, every time I transform this guy, there's another spot that paint is scratched off of. And even though I'm careful, I mean, I've had to fix them twice. The, the two pieces that come up here on the shoulders one of them broke off and I, when I took it apart I could tell it was over tightened in the factory and then the pieces here on the side of the foot one was off in the box and had, this, it had a bit of glue the size of a pencil head on it I mean you can't hold die cast on with, with that small amount of glue so yeah negatives there's quite a few uh, positives I mean he does look great uh, as far as the paint and the details he's definitely in my opinion the most tune accurate masterpiece cup that's on the market but is that enough with a hundred and seventy dollar price tag I don't think so so is this a recommendation from me no I'm gonna keep it just because one I like this look more than coot he's more cartoon accurate and Two, I, I think that he appeals to me more, but I don't recommend him at the price point. Uh, I hope this isn't uh, X Transbot's direction for the future, because um, don't get me wrong or don't hold me to this, but I think I saw leg sliders just like this on Springer. There are Springer that's coming out, so I'm kind of scared for that figure now, to be honest. But. Uh, Hopefully my somber tones didn't sway you away from the channel. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have them. If you like them, great. Tell me why in the comments. Well, that being said, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you again next time.